Okay, in this video we'll look at volunteer messaging. We're starting out on the volunteers page because the messaging page configures slightly differently depending on how you get to it. So first we'll go to the messaging page using the message link available in the volunteer navbar. So that's up here. So we'll click on that. When you visit the messaging page via the navbar link, it allows you the full range of options for who will receive your message. So by default, when you come here, uh, your message will go to all volunteers with scheduled shifts. So uh, you can see that under message or ship recipients here, um, the send to all volunteers option is clicked and the volunteer shift status uh, selected is scheduled. So when using the all volunteers option, you will see only the count of recipients for your message. So you won't see them by name, you'll just see the number of volunteers who are going to receive this message. You can send your message to uh, volunteers with unscheduled uh, or even declined shifts if you want. You can switch that with the volunteer shift status box. So note that the change, <coughs> the change in recipient count for sending to uh, volunteers with declined shifts. Um, a message with zero recipients actually will not send. So we'll put that back on scheduled. Now of course your message must have a subject and a message body. Um, if we try to send the message without those things it will fail. So you must have a message body and a subject and so forth. So we will add a subject Thanks for helping. Okay, and once that uh, message body appears in the message preview, you can send your message. So now I'll click on send, and you'll be prompted. And then you'll get a success alert that your messaging, messaging job was created. So we will now go to uh, email to check these to check these messages okay so you can see that uh, not only have I received the message um, I've also received a confirmation message that the email went out and for uh, when you message volunteers uh, this is what that confirmation message will look like you will actually see the list of volunteers who are messaged. Even though you don't see this list of volunteers in the uh, in the uh, messaging page, if you have the all volunteers item selected, even though if you've only seen the count, you'll see this list of uh, recipients in your confirmation email. Okay, so let's go back to the messaging page. <coughs> now. <coughs> I can also send my message to the volunteers for a specific shift or to a specific volunteer, and that's used with these options here, just under message recipients. So when I click on <coughs> send to a specific shift, uh, a volunteer shift select box appears down here beneath shift status. Uh, note that the recipient count that was visible for the all volunteers option has gone away. So when I pick a shift, it now shows me all the recipients by name. So I'll pick Kochuk Friday morning. And this is what it shows you when you pick a shift. It shows you the number of volunteers who uh, have the status that you want for the shift. It shows you the time of the shift, even though that also appears up here. And it shows you the list of volunteers who will actually receive the message. And of course, if I want, I can also send this message to uh, volunteers who have applied but are not scheduled yet. Or I could send to volunteers who were declined for this shift. Of course, I don't have anybody declined or unscheduled for this particular shift. <coughs> so if I click on send to a specific volunteer, uh, a search by volunteer name box appears, and I would just search for the volunteer I want to uh, send the message to by name. So I can search for Joe 
and what happens if I have Joe? I'd I'd, uh, I'd get that I get that user here. This is the only user matching the name Joe. I can choose Joe, or and this is what happens if you choose the user. It'll have the messaging Joe user uh, single volunteer selection. And if I pick the wrong person for some reason, uh, I can do another search and it erases who I currently have selected, and I can choose that. So you can always fix uh, an incorrect selection if for some reason that happens. Uh, note that the uh, shift status box has gone away too, uh, because when you're when you're messaging a single volunteer, uh, it has the sh their shift status doesn't matter. Now there are shortcuts to messaging a single volunteer or the volunteers for a single shift. So if I were to be on the volunteers page and I have my list of volunteers here, um, so from this page I can click on a volunteers message button and this will take me to the messaging page with the page pre-set up so that I uh, will be only messaging that specific volunteer. So if I click on the message button for Andy Dufresne, it takes me back to the messages page or the message volunteers page. And you can see down here the message recipients shows Andy Dufresne as the recipient for this message. And then I just need to fill in the subject and the message body and click send and that's, that's uh, all I need to do there. So that function, the message function to a single volunteer is going to be available anywhere there's a list of volunteers in the volunteers tool. So not just from that, uh, from the volunteers page. So now likewise for shifts, if I want to message all scheduled volunteers for a shift, let's go to the shifts page, uh, I, can, I can click on the message scheduled volunteers option uh, in the uh, shifts manage menu. So you can see I've clicked on the manage drop down for the coat check Friday morning shift and I now want to message all the scheduled volunteers for the shift. Note that when you're using this shortcut for messaging everyone in a shift uh, you can only send to uh, volunteers who are scheduled. There's no option here for sending to volunteers who are not scheduled or were declined. So I've clicked on that uh, link and now I'm back to the message volunteers page again. And as before, we can see that uh, I'm mes messaging three volunteers for the shift, Andy, Betty, and Joe. Now note that uh, if you use these shortcuts to the messaging page, you don't have the option to change the recipients. So if you make a mistake, uh, when using these shortcuts and selecting you know, the shift you want to message or the specific volunteer you want to message, you'd have to go back and choose correctly.